What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your Nintendo Switch is experiencing the blank screen with the battery icon. Let's get right into this. So this is actually an easy fix and this is something that recently did happen to me. I didn't realize that the uh, Type-C power cable when my docking station wasn't fully inserted. So since I leave my Nintendo Switch in rest mode, it ended up just draining the battery completely. Now the Nintendo Switch having the black screen with the battery icon is caused whenever your Nintendo Switch goes below 15%, which for me, that is exactly what happened because the battery drained completely. To fix this, the first thing you're gonna want to do is disconnect both Joy-Cons from the Nintendo Switch, and you're gonna remove the Nintendo Switch from the docking station. Next, you're gonna unplug the type C charging cable from the docking station and connect it directly into the Nintendo switch. Whenever you first plug it in, the screen will likely remain black with the battery icon in the corner. What you're going to want to do is leave your Nintendo switch charging for about 15 to 30 minutes. Now when you go back to your switch, you should be able to press the power button and it should turn on as normal. And whenever you disconnect the type C, you should see how much and how far along it has charged. If you did try turning it on and it did turn on, you're gonna want to just leave the type C plugged in and you're gonna leave it charging until it reaches 100% fully charged. Now you should be able to connect the Joy-Cons and use your Nintendo Switch as normal. Again, for whatever reason, whenever your Nintendo Switch drops below 15% for the battery, it won't charge properly if the Joy-Cons are connected and the Nintendo Switch is in the docking station. What ends up happening is, whenever you do have it plugged in, the only thing that is charging is the actual Joy-Cons. The Nintendo Switch itself is not charging, so until you disconnect it from the docking station and disconnect the Joy-Cons and then plug it straight into the Type-C, your Nintendo Switch won't turn on. I'm not really sure why Nintendo has this in, if it is a glitch or they purposely put it into the Switch to do this whenever it goes below 15%. But for a lot of people, if they don't know what to do, it is very stressful because it looks like there's just a blank screen with a charging cable, so it looks like you just have to charge your Nintendo Switch. So for most people, they just go and place it on the docking station and leave it for a couple hours and go back and they will likely have the same problem again until they disconnect everything. It likely won't work. I'm not sure why Nintendo does this, but hopefully this did help you and this is the solution for fixing it and you should be able to play it as normal once it is fully charged. Again, I would leave it to be about 100% charged before going and playing it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.